Hello Pisces, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Those of you that are interested in booking a personal reading, you can certainly contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you like. My name over there is also Clarity Goddess Tarot, okay? And everything you need to know about booking your reading is below in the description box, okay guys? So let's get started. Um, most of you already know this is a general message, right? So it means that it may or may not be your situation. Don't try to make it fit if it's not also the energies are interchangeable okay and they're not gender specific either it could be a male or a female and um you know it could be the other person carrying the energies or yourself all right so um over here to the left we have the past position although some of you could be going through this now but um we have the sun card here okay so you could be dealing with a leo for some of you um regardless of whatever sign it is i think that uh you know this is about happiness okay so i think that this person you were happy to either be dating them or um you know seeing them being with them whatever it was it um it made you happy here okay the sun card is about um you know lighthearted energy peace okay and uh comfort and all of that so i think that you and this person hit it off well okay but we also have the knight of cups here reversed so i'm seeing here you could have been dealing with a water sign but this is about someone being um, possibly a little bit moody, maybe a little inconsistent is also what I'm seeing here. And maybe something just did not turn out the way that you thought it was, okay? I'm seeing where um, either you led this person on or they led you on, okay? It just um, is not what you thought it uh, was gonna be, okay? Now, we also have the Five of Wands reversed. So this is about arguing, all right? Conflict, competition, and uh, it's reversed here. So this means one of two things, okay, guys? You could have just uh, came out of conflict with this person, um, or this can represent internal conflict. So maybe this person has you a bit confused here, okay? And we also have the uh, Empress reversed, all right? So could have been dealing with a Libra, but, you know, the Empress reversed, this can be someone who's a little bit insecure, okay? So I feel like this person left you, or, or maybe they didn't leave you, maybe you guys are still in contact, but they have um, left some type of doubt in your mind. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? And, um, you know, maybe some of you just saw where this uh, just did not have the opportunity for growth, okay? Because the Empress in the Upright is all about growth, expansion, okay? And um, it's really good energy, but it's reversed, okay? Now, some of you, you know, this could have been someone's wife involved here or either the mother of someone's children could have been a pregnancy involved in this as well, okay? Now, we also had the Ace of Pentacles here, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is about a new opportunity, all right? So I think that some of you, even though you had your doubts, I think you were still willing to give it a shot here, okay? Um, some of you, this also could relate to work, all right? The Pentacles do represent work life and finances, okay, guys? We got, you, you know that this is uh, general, so it could be, you know, a love situation or work, family, whatever. But I see here, you know, with the Page of Pentacles reversed, that someone was holding back or either there just was not, um, again, any progress here. And, uh, you know, somebody kind of dropped the ball or just did not come through the way that you uh, expected. All right. So let's move here into the current energy. All right. So here we have the um, the Eight of Swords. All right. So this is about restriction. OK, so some of you could feel a little bit trapped here, maybe, or just um, kind of held back or confused is also what I'm seeing. All right. Not seeing things clearly and um, not really seeing your way out of this currently. You could be choosing to isolate yourself, though, with the Hermit card. You also could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is about being in separation from someone and also just kind of holding back, okay? Um, someone's in hiding here and not really being very um, sociable, okay? So maybe maybe you and this person um, just either aren't getting along here or someone's pulled back, like I said, okay? Some of you could be thinking about closing this cycle out, all right? We got the World card here. So this is about closure cycles coming to an end some of you this could represent a new beginning though okay because next we also have the hierophant so this is taurus energy um but this represents marriage okay guys and also commitment so i do feel like somebody is married here or um is maybe getting ready to get married okay maybe starting a new chapter here with the uh world card now we also have the king of wands here so this is very uh sexual energy okay a, a lot of lust passion chemistry attraction so I see that, but, you know, for some reason, I just feel like some of you um, are either holding back here or this person is holding back, okay? They may want to take action towards you, though, all right, with the uh, King of Wands, but it could be just about sex, okay? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now, we also have the Four of Swords reversed here, so um, this is about 
someone feeling like they needed to take a break, okay, maybe to kind of fall back, like I said, you know, with the hermit being there too, and maybe to just, you know, see things clearly here and um, get some mental clarity, all right? So it's reversed. So some of you could be coming out of that isolation or maybe, again, you just see things for what they are, all right? Now, let's come up here to your energy at the top, Pisces. You guys know this is general once again. So it could be you at the top, them at the bottom, but we have, or vice versa, okay? So we have the Eight of Cups reversed, yeah? So some of you, um, some of you may have been forced to walk away from this, maybe because this person did and you felt like, you know, you just had to move on. Maybe you didn't necessarily want to. All right. Others of you, this could represent that um, it's like, you know, you need to leave this behind, but you can't. OK, you're a little bit stuck here because we also have the uh, two of swords. So this is air energy, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. But um, this can also represent someone ignoring something, too. OK, choosing to be blind here and not really seeing things for what they are. All right. And uh, knowing they need to make a choice, but, you know, just isn't doing so. Now, we also have the uh, high priestess reversed. So, you know, to me as a reader, when the high priestess comes out reversed, it's a message from spirit that it's time to use your intuition, okay, Pisces? Maybe, again, you have been ignoring something or maybe just not taking any action here, but this here is um, advising you to do so, okay, to start seeing things clearly because we also have the Ace of Swords. That's all about clarity, okay, guys, and the truth. Um, you know, and again, seeing things for what they are here. We also have the uh, Three of Pentacles. So this, again, could relate to work for some of you here, but this is about um, partnership. Okay, Well, not necessarily partnership, but people coming together, okay? Being on the same page, working together, getting along, you know, cooperation, okay? Now, others of you, you may be moving on here, okay? Maybe you're just uh, choosing to focus on your work. You've seen things for what they are. Um, it may still be hard for you to let go, okay, with the Eight of Cups, but, um, you know, reverse, but I think some of you are just going to choose to uh, move on from this, okay, with that Six of Swords. You also could be moving, like, literally, okay, maybe to another state or, uh, you know, a new home. But, um, yeah, so that's what we have for your energy. Now, let's come down here to there. So, they've got the Knight of Swords. So, this is them rushing forward. They want to take action and communicate with you, all right? They're hurt here, okay, Pisces? I don't know why or, you know, what exactly has happened here, but the Three of Swords does represent pain, okay? It can represent um, third-party energy, cheating, or, you know, deception, but it doesn't always mean that necessarily, okay? It doesn't always mean there's another person involved, okay? It could just be, I don't know, disrespect or, again, somebody's feelings being hurt or ego being bruised here. I think this person is inconsistent, though, all right, because we have the Knight of uh, Wands reversed, so... Again, this is sexual energy. Some of you, this could have just been a uh, friends with benefits situation. But, um, you know, the Knight of Wands reverse, he's a player. <laughs> okay, he's a player. He's, you know, noncommittal. All right. This person is also feeling like things aren't really fair here or going in their favor because they have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay, this could be some uh, kind of karma slapping them in the face. I don't know. But they, um, they feel betrayed or either just flat out done here with this uh, situation. All right. And they want to speak their truth. They want to find out what's going on. But <clears throat> excuse me, they feel hurt and they, you know, they want to end this possibly. OK, guys. And next, we also have the four of Pentacles reversed, too. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's quite selfish, maybe even a little bit mouthy, disrespectful, possibly inconsistent in and out. And, um, you know, the type of person who may has may have caused you pain, but now, you know, they're in pain or they're feeling some type of way. And now they, um, you know, they're crying about it is what I see. All right. Whining or whatever. And um, they're trying to let go here. OK. But again, the four of pentacles is someone who's quite selfish. All right. But yeah, I think they're trying to release it. OK. Now let's move over here to the potential outcome energy. So we've got the nine of cups reversed. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is about being dissatisfied okay so someone here is not getting what they want maybe because someone is selfish here with the six of pentacles reversed this is about um they're not being even give and take okay guys now we also have the emperor reversed you could be dealing with an aries okay but this is someone who could again be a little bit insecure maybe narcissistic or just feeling like they've lost control of this or again something's not going someone's way here okay I'm seeing a pity party for some reason for somebody uh, that could be coming here soon. So next we have the Two of Cups. So this is about partnership, all right? Two people being in love, being together. Um, so some of you, you may be giving this another try here, even though it's been a little bit difficult or there's been doubt because we also have the Nine of Wands. 
So this is the energy of a wounded warrior. So basically meaning that this has been challenging, okay? Or maybe you and this person, you know, there was some hard lessons that had to be learned here, but you're still not giving up, okay? Maybe you still want to fight for this, but you're still kind of guarded and defensive. All right, guys, I hope that's all making sense. And we also have the Queen of Wands reverse. So whether it's you or them, Pisces, someone's not very happy about how this is going, okay? This is someone, the Queen of Wands, she can be a little bit a little bit angry okay maybe even a little bit jealous or just not um satisfied once again and maybe even lacking a little bit of confidence here okay so not necessarily saying you're lacking confidence um you know you yourself just about the connection okay because maybe again they're inconsistent so you don't really know where this is going okay guys so that's what i have for you if this resonated feel free to like share and comment also if you would uh, like to book a personal, feel free to uh, contact me at ClarityGoddessTarot at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Take care.